Here are 15 challenging words for IT professionals. I should say international IT professionals. Under vowel 1, E is in green. One challenging, frequently mispronounced word is engineer. You might be saying engineer, but Americans will say engineer. They're going to stress the vowel in the last syllable, engineer. Any word that ends with double ER, volunteer, engineer, will have that same pattern. Vowel number two is I as in silver. It's a relaxed sound, I as in silver. And the word infrastructure is stressed on the first syllable here, infrastructure. A lot of you might be saying infrastructure, but don't stress struck, stress in, infrastructure. Vowel 3 is A as in gray. And the word here is maintenance. Maintenance has a nice long A as in gray sound. Maintenance. Vowel 4 is A as in red. The word here is development. Development. We're stressing the second syllable. The vowel sound is E as in red, and it's really long and clear. Development. Don't say development without stressing anything. You've got to stress a syllable in each word. Vowel number five is called a as in black, and the word here is patent. Patent. I'm stressing the first vowel sound with a nice a as in black sound. The T's are a little bit reduced, aren't they? Not patent. 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 And you'll learn more about the American T's later in the course. Vowel 6, coming up here, is ers in purple. And I put the word alternatives. Alternatives. I've heard a lot of international IT professionals say alternatives, but you don't want to say that. If a word ends in IVS or IVE, you want to stress two syllables before that. Alternatives. Alternatives. Vowel number seven is called uh as in mustard. It's a really relaxed sound. My word here is consultant. Consultant. And notice I'm stressing the second syllable. The vowel sound is uh as in mustard. And the T's are a bit reduced, aren't they? Not consultant. Consultant. You'll learn more about those T's later. Consultant. Vowel number eight is ah as in olive. And this word is a two syllable noun. So I'm going to stress the first syllable. And colleagues, colleagues, not colleagues. In the US and Canada, we don't say colleagues. We say colleagues, just like college. Vowel nine is called oo is in blue. And I put the word entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Now this word might fit better under purple, entrepreneur. I've heard both versions. So entrepreneur with a stressed purple sound or entrepreneur with a stressed blue sound. But do stress the last vowel sound. This word is from French and words that were adopted into English from French, such as engineer and entrepreneur, tend to be stressed on the last syllable. Next vowel, vowel is vowel 11, uh, as in wood, vowel 10, uh, as in wood, and this is a relaxed sound, uh, uh, wood, understood, and this is a compound verb, and compound verbs understand, understood, will be stressed on the second syllable. All right, so we've got 9, 10, 11, vowel 11, O is in rose, programmer. Do not say programmer. Please don't say programmer. In the U.S. we say programmer. The stress vowel sound is O is in rose, programmer. Now we have vowel 11, O is in brown, Ow is in brown, and the word here is accountable, account, accountable. Notice the T is very reduced. 
it's actually silent, accountable. Our next vowel sound is or is an orange. Vowel 13, or is an orange. Important, important, not important, important. And then we've got two more vowel sounds, 14 and 15. 14 is I as in white, environment, environment. And vowel 15, oi as in turquoise, avoid. Two syllable verbs are frequently stressed on the second syllable. So make that vowel long and clear, avoid. So 15 words that international IT professionals commonly mispronounce, pronounced with American English syllable stress, vowel sounds, and a little bit of American T. See you in the next lesson.